Now, with Stalin's new ability to get power in the party, one of, he did two major things. One, as it was mentioned before, he did everything he could to isolate Lenin so no one could get to him, get in or out. And another part was to find a way to, through various alliances, through other founding Communist Party members, to isolate and to completely ostracize Trotsky, get rid of the two main people in his way. And when Lenin died, he, in 1924, he said that he did not want a big deal made about his funeral. He wanted a quiet funeral, no big deal made about it. And Stalin, he decided he was going to put Lenin's death to work for him. What he decided to do was he was going to idolize Lenin, make it look like he was Lenin's true heir. He had a mausoleum made in Red Square for Lenin, and he had Lenin embalmed and put on public display. And Lenin, almost a hundred years later, is still enshrined in Red Square in Moscow. He did exactly what Lenin did not want, but it was exactly what Stalin needed. He wanted to show the people that, yes, he was the main heir to Lenin. And... One thing that uh, Lenin's widow did was she made public what she called uh, Lenin's last will and testament that he'd written to her in private. Because Stalin did not let any letters in or out to Lenin at this, before he died. And he said that, and what she said, Stalin is too brutal. And that he urged the Communist Party members to find a way to remove him from power. Uh, he was viciously angry about that. He... He did everything to ostracize Comrade Lenin's wife, and he did everything in his power to completely remove the old party. He began a reign of terror, so on and so forth from there. And he began having executing party members left and right, because he was now the secretary of the party. Stalin was now the head of the Soviet Union at this point, as what it was called. And first thing he began doing was purging the party ranks. He began with, you know, he killed Kamenev, he killed Zinoviev, he eventually killed Bukharin, he moved on. And finally he had Trotsky called up as being anti-communist and had him publicly humiliated by having him sent out of Russia in exile in shackles. And what eventually happened to Trotsky was he would eventually make his way to Mexico City and he would be continuing to write anti-Stalin documents and do everything he can to undermine Stalin from afar. And it finally ended when a Soviet agent found his way to Mexico City. And the way they figured out who that, how that happened was that agent put an ice pick in the back of Trotsky's skull. So Stalin, by 1940, was able to fully eliminate the last of his political rivals. There you go.